Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MOC Tech. Now Ubisoft recently kicked up a bit of the stir in the gaming industry with one of their executives coming out and saying how gamers need to get comfortable with not owning their games. Despite what this executive says, I don't think that's going to be the case anytime soon. And like with Ubisoft's NFT platform, they're about to eat their words yet again. With it being reported that only just 10% of video game spending goes towards subscription services. So sit back and relax as we dive into the viability of gaming services actually taking over the entire market. Now going back to the original controversial comment which inspired me to make this video was Ubisoft Director of Subscriptions, that being Philip Tremblay. And by telling customers with the launch of their new game subscription service that they need to get comfortable not owning their games. The pure arrogance of this man is absolutely incredible. The fact that he thinks Ubisoft Plus of all services are, is going to be the one to make that cosmic shift in the gaming industry. I think this person is just delusional to be honest with you. And then again, this is the same company that thought its NFT platform was going to be the future as well. So quite frankly, Ubisoft doesn't have a track record of trying to force customers to pioneer a new industry of gaming. Quite frankly, their track record has been the exact opposite of gamers have been fed up of taking advantage of by companies like Ubisoft. And the way the industry is actually going, subscription services are not actually taking off the way these people think they may. But it's been reported that subscription growth has actually flattened and subscription services for console and PC platforms only account for 10% of total video game spending. Now I understand these executives have to do their job and try to big up their services both within their shareholders and investors and also the wider game community as a whole. But the idea that subscription services will become dominant is just completely unsupported by data. Now there are some good reasons why a user might want to subscribe to a game subscription service such as Xbox Games Pass, which quite frankly I think is a pretty good deal considering the amount of games you get for the price you pay per month. And also I get some value out of PlayStation Plus's subscription service as well. I play a lot of games using PlayStation Plus, so I do get a bit of value out of it. However, Ever, subscription services have been seen more addictive than cannibalistic and offer players, devs and publishers more choice in how to play and offer their games on the market. But fear mongering around this topic is very unnecessary and quite frankly creates more division and negative press towards subscription services as a whole. So it's very unnecessary to try and take this big bold approach. But for Ubisoft, for all people to come out with such arrogance claiming how you get you best be comfortable never owning your games is just outright ludicrous. And the fact that subscription services only account for 10% of the market is quite telling that gamers aren't quite ready to go down this digital only subscription service when it comes to games as a whole. As I mentioned earlier, I get some enjoyment out of game subscription services for the likes of my gaming consoles. But when it comes to my main platform being PC, I want actual ownership over my games. I don't want subscription services. As when it comes to my PC gaming, I'm a lot more picky when it comes to the games I play. So I want to be able to fully support a developer and be able to have that game forever. As when I'm making a big decision as to a new game on my PC, it's a very thought out decision and a substantial one as well. And I don't like the idea of never being able to have ownership over anything you buy. Yes, I think it's great to have options for how people can consume content, but I still think having ownership and having an actual collection that you can call your own is the best thing for the market. And I wish I could go back to a time where I could build up a physical collection of all of my PC games. Unfortunately, we're going more digital only when it comes to those marketplaces. But still having your own personal collection that you've built up just hits a lot better than, oh, you'll never own your games. And you're just essentially renting your entertainment opposed to owning the source of your enjoyment entertainment. I think it removes a lot of soul out of gaming of just having a pure script from services. I feel the exact same way when it comes to the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime, just those script from services opposed to, you know, going out and buying your media, being able to physically hold it and say, this is my copy, this is special to me, opposed to just, oh, I pay £8 a month and it's just what Netflix are going to give to me that month. 
You are leaving yourself at the mercy of these developers and publishers and subscription services as to what content you can actually obtain as the titles that these services offer are always changing, some are always being added, but at the same time, some games are being removed from these services all the time. So you can never have a solid ownership and solid collection of the games that you can play. For example, if you purely rely on one subscription service for all of your games and there's this one game in particular that you really love to play and then the next month the license is revoked from this service, then you're going to feel cheated out of all that money you spent on the service as it will never be a definite guarantee that you'll forever be able to play a certain title on these services. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this topic in the comments down below. And what do you think of Ubisoft's arrogant statement? And do you agree with that statement in any way? And do you really see the market going down a subscription only and games as a service approach opposed to having actual ownership of your games? And do you take advantage of any game subscription services yourself? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.